We can tell you a big change will come. Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll keep watching. I left you speechless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. really nothing to add there. <laughs> right. Right now, Beehive, the 60s musical, it's playing at Lone Tree Arts Center. It's a fun show, and you don't want to miss it. So joining us now, we've got director and choreographer Candy Brown and one of the actors, Piper Lindsay Arpan. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate waking up early. <laughs> so what can someone expect when they come out to see the show? <laughs> Beehive is too much fun. It's um, a decade of music told through the lens of six women. Um, and a lot of hairspray. And a lot of <laughs> hairspray. <laughs> High hair. Yeah, there's Closer some... to God. <laughs> I'm from the South here, yeah. right. Yeah, it's historical in nature. There's little tidbits about the time period and lots of fun dances and tunes that folks will love to hear. So, obviously, there's a lot of hairspray we talked about. <laughs> what, what other kind of preparation does it take to make all this happen? Well, we had quite a lot of rehearsal. Um, actually, I started long before rehearsal process, you know, sure. trying to decide where everybody was going to be, who was going to sing what, how we're going to move the thing around, and, um, and then you just hope that the audience <laughs> connects to it. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I mean, this really yeah. transports you back to that era. <laughs> Uh, it really does. And so you, you got a few songs that are going to be an earworm, I'm sure, that people will be singing on the way home Absolutely. and enjoying it. I mean, uh, talk about the arts. Uh, oh. I mean, I love music in the arts. I think it saved my life when I was in high school. It's, uh, I mean, it brings me joy every day. Why do you think it's important for the community? Gosh, we have had the most wonderful feedback from the patrons that have come to see the show. Um, the other night, there was a sweet young lady who was waiting for me outside of the stage door and said, how tall are you? I said, I'm 5'8". She said, yep, I was you, 1961, oh. and I wore that blue dress, McCall's pattern number 122. <laughs> and uh, she said we just took her right back to her youth and reminded her of all these experiences she had. She said... She just loved the immersion of that era that she experienced when she was at the show. It was wow. pretty special. Is it possible to sit still, or can the, can the audience get involved and <laughs> sing along and have fun, too? Oh, they definitely get involved. It's an immersive... <laughs> you can't help it. When yeah. you start hearing, it's my party, and okay, I mean, how can you not? <laughs> or, or Proud Mary, or any of the songs that happen. You have to snap your fingers, stomp your feet, sing along. Yes, everybody has a really good time. Nice. If people want tickets, how do they how do they get tickets for this? LoneTreeArtsCenter.org. Um, you can buy them online, or you can call the box office at Lone Tree. It's a beautiful facility, and it is gorgeous. It is. And, and everybody thinks it's so far away. It's not. Literally twenty minutes door to door. You can do it. Yeah. And you should. <laughs> yes, you absolutely. Should. Behind the 60s musical is playing until next Saturday at the Lone Tree Arts Center. And, you know, we talked about that website. We have it linked at ours, cbsdenver.com. You guys, thank you so much. And, and break a leg thank as you, you end this weekend. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thanks.